In this last section, we're going to be building our final messaging app, which is inspired by a combination of Snapchat and Wicker. Snapchat's original core feature was to be able to send images to someone else, which were then permanently deleted after a few seconds. Wicker focuses on security and encryption in their messaging system. So our app is gonna be pretty simple. So let's see it in action. So here's the very simple login page. Our app is designed to be essentially a disposable messaging app. So you would enter just a username and that's all you need to access your account. So you would enter a username and then you'll be in, message someone else and then you log out and next time you use it, you'd use a different username. So we're definitely focusing on anonymity and security here. So I could log in, for example, as Kevin and then it would either log me in or create an account depending on whether there was already someone of that username logged in and then I could send a message to anyone on the user list by connecting to my photo library. I'll go for my Homer message. And then once I choose a message, that will be sent. You can see it's sending now. And then we'll get a message saying it was sent. And then if I log back in as Tommy, to see it from the recipient's point of view, then after a few seconds, it will pop up with a message saying that there's a message from Kevin. Tap OK, and that message will appear for five seconds, and then it will be gone and deleted from the server. And that's it. So pretty simple. It'd be great if you can have a go at making that whole thing yourself, but of course, we'll break it down into chunks, and you're very welcome to watch me make it and follow along if you'd rather. So I hope you enjoy making the Snapchat Wicker clone. We'll start with the login and sign up screen and the user table in the next video.